Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and I've got another beat making tutorial for you today. I recently put out a horn beat video using sampler and studio horns, and a lot of people asked, can you do this same thing with strings? And the answer is absolutely yes. So in this video, I'll show you how to make a realistic sounding string beat with multiple different playing styles using articulation sets, studio strings, and sampler. So to start, I've got just a basic drum beat here, just using the electronic pop kit in Drum Machine Designer. So nothing too special there. And then what I've done is just using a piano instrument in Logic, I've created this sort of multi-layered musical idea. And really, I can separate all of this into four main ideas. There's sort of a bass voice down here, sort of like a cello or mid-range voice here. Then there's these little harmonies. There's two voices there, but really, I'm just going to put that on one track. And then there's this melodic sort of accent up here, um, and then this sort of chord right here. So what I'm going to do is split this into four different layers. So I'm just going to duplicate this channel four times, and then I'm just going to pull all of this down. And then what I'm gonna do is go through and remove everything that I'm not going to use for each layer. So the bottom layer here is mostly like the bass, it's the, the bottom notes. So it's really just this bump, 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 that idea. So all this can come out. And then I'll just repeat this same process for all the other tracks. And now I've got all of those ideas separated into four different tracks. So that's the first step. So let's start at the bottom track here. I've got studio strings loaded up in stereo. And I'm going to choose the string ensemble preset and I'm going to make sure that the auto voice split is turned off. So I want to be able to tap into different playing styles here. I don't want all just sustained standard bowing styles. So what you do is you select the track, then go over to your track inspector over here. And down at the bottom, there's an option here that says articulation set. I'll just click on that and then go to new. And what this will do is it'll show you all of the available articulations for that particular instrument. So now when I go back into piano roll, I can change the articulation on a note by note basis right here. So instead of sustain, maybe I want these to be staccato. And then the next one up, I'm gonna think of this almost like the cellos. So this one I need to swap out with studio strings as well. I'll select the string ensemble, make sure the auto voice split is turned off. Let's create a new articulation set. And I could make this all staccato. So the very first note of each bar, I'm going to select all of these just by holding shift. And I'm gonna make these sustain. So I go back and forth between a sustained and staccato playing style. And you know what, I think I'll make these notes sustained as well. I think it does a good job of sort of bringing out that sort of counter melody. Let's move up to the next one. These are these little harmonies. It's the same thing. I'll swap this out for studio strings, use the string ensemble, create an articulation set. So for these, every other note is going to be short. So I don't want it to be dun 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 dun. I want it to be da 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 da. So like long short, long short. Okay, so I've got all those selected. I'll just make those all staccato.
And then the very top track here, I'll add studio strings to that as well. Select the string ensemble, create an articulation set. For these, I'm going to start with these all staccato, but these little melodies, dun 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 dun. I think I'm going to go dun 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 dun. dun. So long, long, and long. So I'll make those sustain, and I'll do the same thing over here. So these will be sustained, these high notes will be sustained, and then that note will be sustained. Let's see what that sounds like. Ah, okay, so I'm up an octave too high. Let's take all these down an octave. There we go. Now I have a feeling that these two regions here might collide. Yeah, you have to start thinking about the sort of spelling of everything or the the arrangement of the uh, the parts to make sure that they don't overlap, to make sure they don't collide with each other. So I'm going to take this. It's a sixth down. It's harmony down a sixth. I'm just going to jump that up an octave, and it's now going to be harmony of thirds. And if I go back to the beginning, I think what I'll do is I'll delete this note and I'll pull these up an octave. So when I loop this section starting here, it lands on a note there on the very first downbeat. So let's see what this sounds like as is. There's still a lot we can do to it. Let's add something else in here at bar three. So let's make this note a trill. We'll do a trill hole. Yeah, and let's make this a sustained note. Let's make this one staccato and we'll make this sustained. Actually, let's make this forte piano fast. Forte piano just means that it starts loud and then immediately dips down to being soft. I take this back. I'm going to make this middle note sustain again. Now let's see if I can do something with this again, but over here. So I'll just paste that in. Let's add harmony of a third. So I'll just duplicate that up, duplicate that up, and duplicate that up. I think I'm just going to add a few extra notes here that are staccato. So let's see what all of that sounds like together now. Now I've got a lot of layers here, but one thing I want to do is I want to layer up some of these voices with additional string libraries. For example, I'm going to duplicate the low strings. I'm going to call this like low strings 2B. It's the same part, but I'm going to swap out studio strings for sampler. And if I go into the factory library, go to orchestral, then go to strings, there's all these different strings. And all these ones that have a plus sign next to them are all patches that have multiple articulations built into them. So rather than having different tracks for legato, pizzicato, staccato, trill, whatever you're looking for, you can actually just load up one of these plus patches and access the articulation sets within them. So I'm going to use this full strings set here, and then I'll just go over to the articulation set here, click none to remove the old one, and then click new. And you'll see here all the articulations that we have. Now, fortunately, these articulations are sort of backward compatible. Since I already set these with studio strings, they're also showing up here. Yeah, they're all showing up here as staccato. And you can hear this string patch is a little bit different sounding. Here's the original one. This is more like a group cello or uh, bass section here. Let's duplicate this down an octave too. So I'll just hold option. 
drag those down. Yeah, there we go. Now, the reason why I'm mixing up studio strings and sampler is just to get some diversity of different sample libraries together so you get a, a better tone, a thicker tone overall. So off screen, I'm gonna do the same thing to all of the other tracks and let's see what this sounds like. Okay, so off screen, I went through and I layered up each string layer with the sampler full strings plus patch. However, one little problem I'm running into is in the high strings. Remember, this was a trill and there is a trill option here, trills whole tone, we can still do that. This can still be legato or sustained, but this was a forte piano playing style, which we don't have in sampler. So I'm just gonna opt for the staccato setting here, and I'll do the same thing over here. I'll make these trills whole tone. This should be legato. I'll make these legato, and then I'll make these all staccato, which they already are. Let's see what that sounds like. Now the last thing to do is just to give this some reverb. So I'm just gonna create an effect send off of bus four here. I'll load up space designer on here. And I'll just choose a uh, string reverb here. Let's see what all of that sounds like together. And there's some cool layers here, but they do collide a little bit. So let me put these all in stereo pan mode and let's just kind of give these a little bit of space. So let's like space out the high strings a touch and then the low strings as well. Although the very bottom bass uh, with the extra low note, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that one center. And there you go, that's how you can use studio strings, sampler, and articulation sets to build realistic sounding string beats. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you for the support and thanks for watching.